I recently mentioned in a video that I'm trying to make improvements to my shop by upgrading and replacing some of the equipment. Well, today we're going to unbox a new piece of equipment. This is a jet drum sander. It's a 1632. I've never owned a drum sander uh, before. I've never even used a drum sander. It's just that I, I found myself in a position where a drum sander would have come in really handy. Uh, I, I do have a planer. It's a bench top Delta 12 and a half inch planer. But this is a 16 and 32 inch uh, drum sander. This has a heck of a lot more capacity than the 12 and a half inch planer. And it's a lot gentler. So I'm super excited to unbox this. This is going to be new for, for everyone. So let's get started. The drum sander did not come with casters. These are 3 inch locking swivel casters that I bought on Amazon for $18.95. When you have a small shop like mine, you have to have wheels. Okay, I think I have this set up correctly, so it's the moment of truth. Let's turn this sucker on. Power helps.
Okay, let's take a look at the drum sander a little closer. Again, this is the Jet 1632 drum sander. I did opt for the in-feed and the out-feed tables here. Uh, it just makes it easier to send the material through the machine and it will reduce snipe as well. This is the drum cover. It's a pretty large drum. Uh, the the uh, opening here is a four inch opening for your dust collection system. I don't have a dust collection system. I'm still using this shop back here. Uh, so I do have an adapter on here to accept my shop back hose, but it seems to be working pretty well. I gotta say this, this uh, Jet makes a really high quality product. I'm very, very impressed with it. Everything seems to be uh, very well made and the materials seem to be uh, premium. And uh, I think uh, I, I'm very pleasantly surprised. Um, let's see, you have the, uh, the motor here. This is a one and a half horsepower motor that spins the drum. You also have a separate motor here. This is for the conveyor. Um, you have two switches here. This is the on and off switch and you could also take this out. And that's a safety feature, so the kids don't come in here and accidentally turn this on. <laughs> so, there we go, on. And you have a separate conveyor switch. And again, uh, this seems to be very high quality. Okay, so 1632, what does that mean? That means that from here to here is 16 inches, but you can actually have the ability to sand something that's 32 inches because what you do, we'll just turn the conveyor on for this. You could sand 16 inches at a time. And then when you're done with the first 16, you just flip it over. And you could sand the other 16, giving you a capacity of 32 inches, which is fantastic. And hopefully that's, that's as much as I'm gonna need. So yeah, again, I'm very pleased with the Jet drum sander. Again, very good quality, very high quality materials. Okay. So there you have it. Uh, this was a real easy setup, uh, especially compared to my joiner I had to install a couple weeks ago. That took hours to set up and to calibrate, a lot of adjustments you had to make. This, there were virtually zero adjustments I had to make. It was ready to go right out of the box. Only thing I had to do was put it on top of the base unit. And by the way, that was the biggest headache of this whole installation was putting together the base unit. And that wasn't that difficult either. As far as functionality, this is so smooth. This is a substantial unit, a lot more substantial than I anticipated. This is close to 200 pounds. This is, a, this is all cast iron, um, real heavy, real solid. Couple of things. This cover here, the drum cover, it's, um, it's plastic. That's kind of cheap. Uh, and also, I think there should be a cover right around here. Um, when, when this is in operation, you have the cylinder spinning really, really fast and you don't want to get anything caught up in that. So I think there should be a cover. It's just a couple of minor observations. Uh, this, this wasn't the most expensive unit, um, but it, it certainly wasn't the cheapest either. Um, as far as operation, once I was able to dial in the correct, the correct diameter, this thing was great. It took off that pencil mark that I made. One pass, it was fantastic. Uh, the, this unit comes standard with 80 grit paper, which is kind of aggressive, uh, but for what I want to use it for, or why I purchased this, um, I'll step back just a bit. I got this to make an end grain cutting board because I tried to make an end grain cutting board a while ago. 
uh, and I put it through my planer, my bench top planer, and that, that planer destroyed the thing. I mean, it, it broke into a million different pieces and they're flying everywhere. Uh, so I, I haven't attempted anything like that since then. Uh, but with the drum sander, I'll be able to put an end grain cutting board through here uh, and I won't have that, that same result. So that's, that's why I got it. I'm real pleased with this. I can't wait to start using it. Guys, if you like the video, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks.